Welcome back to TV5 News at 9, everyone. Summer is around the corner, and ice cream is already a great summertime treat, but it's even sweeter when it helps out a local cause. So here to explain a little bit more, we have this morning Tim Mangan, the general manager for Michigan Cream and Sugar, and also Lynn Pavlock, CEO of Boys and Girls Clubs of the Great Lakes Bay region. Thank you both for being here this morning. Thank you for having us. Yes, yes yeah. of course. So um, just tell us a little bit, Tim, let's start us off with Michigan Cream and Sugar, partnering up with the Boys and Girls Club you know what is this partnership and the local cause that we're giving back to yeah absolutely so we're all about working with the community supporting great causes locally and um, what better way to uh, showcase ice cream and help out the community than, than the youth um, and the boys and girls clubs so um, kids love ice cream and so we thought what a great cause to work together with them yeah what's this gonna look like you just get some ice cream you guys donate sure. some proceeds every Tuesday this month um, Tuesdays we're open two to nine all month long um, and a portion of proceeds goes to the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Great Lakes Bay region um, to help them out. Cool. So, yes. Yeah, so Lynn, tell us how this partnership will definitely and directly benefit the Boys and Girls Clubs because you guys continue to grow. We do. So we are super excited and honored to be supported by one of our I would say Bay County's most favorite ice cream yes. places. So we really appreciate Tim and we appreciate all that Michigan Cream and Sugar is doing for us. But we are, we are really focused on growing our membership in Bay County specifically. Our Bay City Club is more than double our membership for summer already. Mm. Our Pink Conning Club, we have many individuals and families coming from the Standish area as well as the Pink, Con Pink Conning area. So a lot of growth there. And our Essexville Club is almost at capacity. So I really encourage anyone who has not sign their kids up for the summer program yeah. to please do so we start the day after summer gets out okay. um, at each of the local clubs so please uh, reach out and more importantly on a Tuesday please stop by Michigan cream and sugar get your family some delicious ice cream Absolutely. and uh, you know a portion of those sales will go to the Boys and Girls Club what kind of goals do you want the Boys and Girls Club to accomplish you know with this growth so we are really looking at how we can positively impact our future leaders mm. within the community. We have many activities planned for this summer. We have um, an all-day trip. We call it our BFIT Festival, which we're taking every kid that's a member to um, an off-site, and they'll be able to experience things like rock climbing, fishing, uh, potentially some water sports. So we're really just trying to expose them to many things that may spark a passion. It may help them, you know, drive their decision in terms of what they do in, in their career in the future yeah. and then hopefully they themselves will come back we have a lot of alumni that are involved in our clubs so maybe they will come back to this community or stay in this community and then continue to maybe be entrepreneurs be you know leaders in like a stem field be teachers be yeah. you know be a newscasters <laughs> um, but they'll come back and they'll want to you know start their families here and just really then give back to the next generation that's what we like to see that's so cool. And I love the uh, socialization aspect of it too. You know, they just get around exactly. people who are like minded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so cool. So, um, Tim, you know, Lynn <laughs> had the claim that one of Bay County's favorite ice cream shops. Why do you think people are drawn into you guys so much? Um, so, part of it is is our involvement in the community. Mm -hmm. And, and then um, also, we're, we're locally sourced and, and we, we purchase from small businesses and local businesses. And we make ice cream from scratch on site. So, um, I feel like we're the, the home team favorite here. Yeah. <laughs> and it's delicious. <laughs> I like the fact that you guys do uh, kind of out of the box flavors too. Uh, sure. That maybe normal uh, shops or just ice cream chains yeah. don't have. So like kids, kids like different flavors and fun, crazy flavors, right? So um, the, the staff at the shop, some of the teenagers suggested a matcha flavor that we did last month. Okay. That was fun. Um, right now we have just released Moo Moo Malt, which is um, a milkshake type flavor. Mm. Um, it has locally sourced like malted candies in it. And then we have our Cha Cha Cherry this month. Um, we have our Peach Cobbler. So we're always doing new and fun and interesting things and you can try them every Tuesday uh, this month to support the Boys and Girls Clubs. So, Perfect. Yeah. Anything else you two would like to add? before we go? Um, again, we are encouraging you if you are looking for somewhere for your little ones to go for the summer, yeah. we are open for any youth ages 6 to 18. 
uh, please check out our website and get your little ones signed up. We're excited. Perfect. All right. And stop by Michigan Cream yeah, and Sugar yeah. on Come Tuesdays <laughs> or anytime. <laughs> anytime would be a Tuesday. Anytime, but yes, Tuesdays would be great. Sure. All right, Tim, Lynn, thanks for being here this thanks morning. So Thank you. You're very welcome. For more information on this, you can always find it by going to the hot link section on our website at WNEM.com.